this it's the Keysight 5061 Vector Corrected Network Analyzer, known as a VNA. It is many thousands of dollars. This is the Nano VNA. It is worth $50 with its own screen, own battery, and it's all self contained. My task is to compare the performance of these two VNAs to find out why the Keysight is much more expensive than the Nano. Shown in this image is an attenuator of five stages that I designed and built. Five stages allow for large attenuation which allow the dynamic range of the VNAs to be compared. This graph shows the Nano and Keysight being compared after each negative 20 dB attenuator stage is added. The Nano is able to achieve similar accuracy to the Keysight. However, at negative 40 dB, the Nano shows more ripples, meaning we are approaching the dynamic range of the Nano. Narrow bandwidth devices such as a crystal oscillator are very common in microwave circuits. So we would like to have a device that can measure the performance of these crystals. This graph shows a 200Hz bandwidth with 200 discrete frequency points, meaning each of the VNAs is stepping 1Hz at a time. This is very good frequency resolution. It has been concluded the Nano can perform very well against the Keysight, especially considering the Nano is only $50. The Nano should not be used to help design microwave components, but it is great for a quick measurement of rough hand-built designs or off-the-shelf devices. A serious downside to the Nano is that only one of its two ports can be used for transmitting a signal, whereas most standard VNAs allow for two transmitting ports. For a little extra cost, the Nano hardware could be improved to add a switch to allow for two transmitting ports. This would improve calibration, therefore accuracy, which would make the Nano a serious competitor.